commission had already approved. Brent Solomon was the only reporter in the room for this crazy outburst. Our cameras were the only ones rolling during an emotional outburst at a public meeting today. It sent a Henrico man away in handcuffs, and it all has to do with controversy surrounding this property. This is a travesty. This is an equalizer disaster. At first, a deputy tried to calm Richard Glenn Williams by patting him on the back, but the Henrico residents' frustrations only grew. I thought each person had to speak 10 minutes. I would have taken the full 10 minutes. Minutes later, Williams had to be carried away in handcuffs. I blew this thing. I blew this He's upset because a developer wants to build two homes in his neighborhood near Libby Avenue in the Brooklyn District. One of the new homes would sit next to William's childhood home near this creek. The area is protected because it impacts the Chesapeake Bay. Normally, that means no development is allowed, but in this case... The intent was not to make lots unbuildable, and in this particular case by the application of the resource protection area uh, of the Chesapeake Bay Act, it would make this lot unbuildable. Therefore, they would need an exception. Today, the county granted that exception since the lot was actually designated for a home back in 1952, decades before the county adopted this as a protection area. Tear down the entire wooden lot! The entire... County officials say the Williams family is the only family here who has voiced opposition. Now that county leaders have cleared the way for that builder to move forward, they're asking the Williams family and the builder to work together. In Henrico County, I'm Brent Solomon for NBC 12. Thanks, Brent. Williams was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. He was released from jail shortly after the meeting. And Ryko Sheriff Michael Wade tells us in his 15-year career, this is the first time he's ever had to arrest someone for disorderly conduct during a public meeting in Henrico.